Mickey made it. Mickey made it. What you made, Mickey? Forget about the way it used to be. This is not a damn democracy. We are in a state of emergency, and my word is law. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good vibes, good energy, good people. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support my brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. And it's my brand, I'm, you know, growing with my community. And the brand represents, don't you guys to just dress outside of the box and just have something new to add to your closet. Okay, today's episode, this will be the second episode of redesign your mind and if you guys are looking on my channel and looking for this playlist it's right down below and this will be the second episode and today we're talking about our five senses and the reason why we're talking about our five senses and i brought this up is because a lot of people say you know superheroes you hear a lot of like you know superhuman and these types of things but really we have superpowers that a lot of us don't even tap into and some of us tap into it not knowing that we did so i just want to open your minds up to the things that we have the things that we can do to enhance our senses and just some things that i went through that made me so sharp at what i do and just sharp at just seeing things and figuring things out okay we have five senses sight sound smell taste and touch Now, when it comes to our senses, we all know that each one of those we use on a daily and they're things that they're beneficial to us in our life. Some of us, we go on with our life and we don't even know that we're using them, but some of us pay attention to it. See, our senses help us navigate through this whole entire world and this thing we call, you know, this human experience. And there's ways of enhancing that. And not only do we have ways of enhancing it, uh, me, myself, I just want to keep it more personal as far as this live and just be more personal with you guys. I started realizing all this stuff through anxiety and just asking these questions to myself, like, why is this happening? Why does this happen? And finding these answers made me come to these realizations. So that's the reason how I got here. And I just want to ex just share something with you guys that's a little personal to me that made me the person I am today. Okay, so with everything going on in our communities, violence, um, just a lot of things, crime happening, our senses begin to enhance and they enhance in different ways. So for example, my senses from trauma have been enhanced. In my, as a youth, I've, you know, I've been, you know, in living in New York, it's not the easiest place to live sometimes. And you find yourself, whether you're in the streets or not in the streets, you find yourself in certain situations at certain times when we all come together and we all like to enjoy ourselves or just come together to do what we got to do. You could always find yourself in the wrong place at the wrong time in certain situations, no matter who you are in New York. So just to keep it brief and broad and, you know, just keeping on the subject and not going too into the situation let's just say you know i am in my past life i've got into situations where you know for example um i've been shot at and that traumatized me in a way because nine shots miss me and you know you question yourself after these things happen and it was right directly in front of me nine shots miss me and sometimes if you don't come to the realization that you know god saved you and god has you here for us a way bigger reason then you don't really start to you have to question yourself when these things happen somebody just read me wrong as a different type of person and just automatically started shooting at me so i got out of i got out of there you know i sped away got out of the situation but after that people don't realize the trauma that's you know left with that and, um, you know, as these situations tend to happen, whether it's shootouts and parties, um, you know, just shootouts that things that just happen around your neighborhood, you begin to have this stronger sense about yourself and people don't identify with it. So for me, like if I hear like a loud bang, my sense is already, you know, set to knowing that that could be possibly a gunshot. So instead of me being as nervous as I'm used to, being that I'm so used to and been through these different experiences, my senses are set to, you know, 
get in place, get in a place where to in a protective mode in other in another, you know, in other terms. And for some people that can mean, you know, them scared because are they get down or, or can't move or fall. We see these type of things happening on, on the daily because their senses are not really triggered by that because it might be their first time happening. So your experience and the things you go through happen some if you realize your experiences they enhance your senses so you know when people say the more you go through the more you learn and that's kind of how your senses works in so many different ways like you like i spoke to you guys and i told you i was explaining to you that in one of my lives you know like for somebody that's handicapped maybe you had lost their legs in a car accident or something their other senses being that they lost their legs and they're sitting in a wheelchair their other senses become way stronger because it's give your energy goes more towards those senses as far as your um just your guidance and as far as your alert and your you know everything that triggers your body and these little senses in you now they have more energy to go to these other senses which enhances them so what i'm trying to tell you guys that you can enhance these senses without even having that happen and you can be more sharper but you but you're thinking and it can help you study better read better learn have better understanding and you get to read people at a different rate than people see a lot of people nowadays you see people fighting back and forth and they don't know how to resolve their problems and these are one of the reasons why because their senses are off maybe they can't read somebody to know that it's not dangerous it's just an argument and they can only go find one solution out of this and this is the reason why this is so important in these times just knowing your body knowing you knowing how you react to things and how are you, you know, your past experiences, how are you going to react to your next experiences, you know? So whatever, you know, you have behind you sometimes carries along with you when it comes down to your body and your nervous system, just that's how anxiety, you know, it raises levels. And sometimes your anxiety can be up just from thinking in your mind or your anxiety can be up from just seeing something in the street or just in the physical. So that's kind of the thing I just wanted to bring to you guys. Instead of me, that's the reason why I wanted to bring my experiences as far as the things that I've been through. Instead of highlighting the things on the actual, you know, the highlights of the actual situations, I wanted to show you what I took out of those situations and put kept with my life so I can never, you know, on the next situation that comes up, I can be more stronger, more aware. Like, let's just take it to animals or pet your pets. If there's a burglar outside and you might not know, you might be watching the TV, your dog can smell or, you know, f feel or that his sense of picking or her sense of picking up that fear, it's way more higher because they have a stronger sense and their senses are more attracted to that. And if you'll see a dog run to the door, maybe scratching the door, start barking. These are the dog senses that are enhanced. And as human beings, we have senses as well. And we enhance our senses through our experiences. And sometimes we can enhance our senses just from, you know, just being aware and just um, trying to figure things out, questioning things and coming up with solutions. That's what makes you sharper. But once your senses are fully enhanced, you get to see things from a different lens. It's not just all about reading people to see the bad in them. Sometimes you can read a person to see the good in them. And sometimes that could be beneficial to you financially, with, whether it's going to be for investment and maybe, you know, or maybe it can be just a person that you want to get therapy from and you just want to, you know, pick the right person for you. Just having that sense of thought, that's your, that clearness of my, your mindset, it makes you see things and, and just taking things at a different just at a different pace and a different rate of just thinking, oh, it's always the worst or it's always oh, going to be the best. You know, you don't overthink and you don't underthink. You kind of keep yourself right in the middle. And that's the reason why I wanted to let you guys know, you know, a lot of times on YouTube and these other platforms, you see a lot of people just expressing um, the things that can are put out there that can help you. I can't give you, you know, that book that cookie cut book um, definition of things. I can only give you through experiences and how I got to this point. How, you know, sometimes you can like, just let's bring it back to this whole Diddy situation. You know, sometimes if you could read a person's energy, you can read from the door. Do I want to be in this party? Do I want to be involved around these people? You can kind of read that type of energy. And people that, you know, the good thing about this all about knowing how to read people and just being aware of your own energy is that Good people with good energy always connect and attach. So if you see another person with good energy, if I see another person with good energy, I'm quickly to subscribe, support, because we need more of us and it 
good people always want more of us to be in the forefront because in these times when it comes to media when it comes to you know just just the social networking you see a lot of negative things out in the media and yeah you know sometimes you want to you want to keep your mindset and as much good people around you even if it has to be online and you know people are trying to put out their best online and trying to help you with things you support them and you and that's how i bring these certain segments for you guys and i do talk about this stuff on my live show in the morning but usually it's always mixed up with different topics that's going on in the, whether it be entertainment or just on the news in general but what i wanted to do is carve out a little space for you guys so you can directly go to these different um, videos of different ways of how I think and how you can probably add to your life and just sharpen the way you think. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of things right now are uh, due to misunderstanding. So when you look at things like that, if you can figure things out before the problem even, you know, you're part of that, like, because look at it. You don't want to look at life like just a matrix, but in some ways it, it, it definitely has a cycle to it. And once you pick up on these things, you realize that we've been going back and forth, back and forth on this cycle of doing the same things over and over. And there's no results get coming out of that. So coming in the year of 2025 and going into the future, I said, you know what? I'm going to try to put my um, put my take on certain things and give you my ways of, um, you know, having solutions and getting things out. And I'm learning as I go too as well. You know, it's certain things that I, that I learn and I'm not really fully solid on yet. I won't bring to you guys until I feel more, you know, more solid on it. But the things so far that has got me to this point where if you want to get that unbothered energy, you don't want to be out there worrying about what other, anybody else is doing and you want to maybe build a business, this is the type of mindset that you need. And these are the type of, this is the way you have to think because times are so hard nowadays and social media doesn't make it any easier. So if you want to follow somebody that, you know, that's trying to put out some good word and trying to help you as, as long the way and we can grow together because I need help my damn self. Yeah, subscribe to the channel and I hope you enjoyed this and kind of get some sense out of it. I'm going to try to break down more of these and have more of these in the playlist so you guys can go separately and just take it in and bring it back and take it in and bring it back until you can add it to your life. So until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe.